seen a lot of people playing seeds to the dream, growing patient and run away. I cut the but Mess is delivered. delivered. Crazy with the guy, fashion. Man. We back Youngs, studio, man. Come on, man. Youngs, what's the name of this episode? This message delivered. Welcome to another episode this, of Message delivered. Let's start it off right. I had to bump Dolph. One. R. P. Dolph. I had to say yeah, that in the beginning. Dolph, what's the man? Let's name this episode. Now this one is a good one because a lot of time people start with a team or they don't know how to get a team. Right now we're gonna break down to you. Mm. You know how do you know if you got the right team mm -hmm. or not? Oh, you mean the right people on the team? Yeah. That's what y'all want to know? They want to know. Then we got to deliver that message. We got to deliver How that do you know message. you got the right people on the team? How do you know people on your right. team are valuable or not, Jeff? Not. How do you know, Jeff? How do you Personally, know the people you've been dealing with in your life? How do you know how to pick and choose? Tell go, us. I could go crazy a little bit on it, but I know that, you know, I've been around different teams, right? And sometimes you have to be around different people mm -hmm. to know where your home is at or who makes you, how comfortable you work with the next person mm -hmm. so you can see your value on your, yourself mm -hmm. one thing you told me right you was like one thing that you do is after you get to know someone pick and tell them what they good at and you was like Jeff I know what you good at do you know what you good at I didn't know what certain things I was good at but you picked it out for me Mm, this is a deep episode. You know this is a deep episode. So, and before you see the value in the team, you have to be a leader first. And see the value in you. To, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you, man. Salute. I appreciate that, man. And that's a, that's Salute. a real friend because some of your friends that you have won't tell you how good you are. That's true. That's true. Because they don't want you to be better than them. And they could be on the same team as them. So how is the leader not giving you a credit? So how would you know you value or not? Mm. So how I'm asking you, coach, because you, you mentor dudes and you also have mentors. You've been mentored. How did you know if you was in the right team or you was valued on the right team or your team that you was doing the right thing? First of all, before you see value in others, right? Before you can create a team, you have to find value in yourself first. Okay. okay. Before you find value in others and you create a team, you have to find value in yourself and discipline yourself. How can a sloppy and blind man be the powerful and clear-sighted team? Okay. Can't. You can't be drinking, smoking, partying, right. drinking till you vomit, fainting, passing out on drugs and talking, I'm building my own company, man. Right. Yeah. You can't be broke, right. spending your money frivolously, just crazy, and build a team that's okay. going to make a lot of money. It's, it's tough. Because right. your way of living is complete opposite of what you want. Right. So I had to get myself together first. Okay. Plan, strategize, and execute. Once I did that, I said, now I, I built myself. Now I know the kind of people I need around me in order to get to these millions of dollars. Right. I know the kind of people. We on the run. We, we're getting it. So those that you don't know, we're not millionaires yet, but we are building a foundation. See, in order to become a millionaire and to create money that that works for you, you have to create a plan and structure that you put in place so that the machine keeps running. That's what we're doing now. Right. And we've been doing it for quite some time. Once I found out what kind of guys I, I wanted on my team, I said, I got to go find them now. Right. That was my first mistake. When you go searching for people, and hunting, usually you come up with the wrong people. The right people will come to you. When jobs put out an application, eventually they hold interviews and hire what? The right person. Right. Jobs don't go out looking for people. Right. They put out a post, for hiring, and people come to them. I was doing the opposite. I was going to search, messaging random people. Hey, what's going on, man? What's right. your rhythm? You, it was a very long, tedious process. You usually don't find the right person. So number one, I said this in an episode before, learn to hunt alone. That's how you get the right people on your team. Hunt alone first. Walk your path alone. The right people will meet you on that path because they're hunting the same meat and prize. They'll meet you on the road. My favorite saying that you do not kept that. Hunt alone. You got to learn to hunt alone. I told right. you all wolves are born with the ability to bite. Right. But hunting is a different thing. See, anybody can bite. Meaning you have the ability to hunt. But hunting is something you have to learn. Right. You see, anyone can make money, right. but it takes brains to keep it. Right. Anyone can bite. Any wolf can bite, but not every wolf can hunt the same. That's why you have alpha and beta wolves. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. You got to figure out which one you are. So I learned to hunt first. 
I was surrounded with wolves with a big, a big howl and big bite. But nobody knew how to hunt on the team. Everybody knew how to talk that gas. Oh yeah, I do film this, 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 this. I want the same dream. When it came time, the push came to shove. Nobody was about that gas. These guys all fell. Till I cleared my circle, I stopped searching for people and I learned to hunt alone. Right. That's when Brother Young's came. Eddie, CO, all these people I started meeting. Right. Shout out to my boy Jay in LA, Manny, right. Brother Shavs, Lion, yeah. dangerous men and women. Germ, brother germs beautiful heart i mean these are the these are powerful people that came along right. and we built ajapong films right and some of the people i my, my yeah. wife beautiful people that believe in us these are people that and some are extended family so these yeah, are people that believe that Tariq, shout out to you cook yeah. so there's a lot of how do you say this there's a lot of people that i met if Right. And I would not have met if I didn't learn to hunt alone. Right. So my advice to you, if you want to build the right team, get the right people on your team, learn to hunt alone. Walk alone. Right. Walk that journey alone. Eventually people will start popping out on that road. Hey, what's up? What's your name? And you'll be walking together on the road at night. And another guy will come down the road. You'll beat him. Right. You pop out. The problem is too many of y'all chase people. You try to force people to do your dream. You get angry, you start fighting with these friends. You know why you're fighting with these long-term friends and get into arguments and this distrust and they're not trustworthy? Right. It's because you're trying to force them to do something they never wanted to do to begin with. Talking, they only said yes because you were their friend. Right, right. Stop forcing dudes to do what you want them to do. That's your Talking. dream, not theirs. Right. They're going right. to lie to you because they like you or they want the, the glitz and glamour that comes with that lifestyle. Right. They right. want the girls, the jewelry, the cars and stuff. But the pain and work you got to put in right. to get that kind of stuff is no joke. These guys can't go and I told you, today's bad. Right. Tomorrow will be worse. Mm. But the next day is beautiful. Right. Most people die tomorrow night. Wow. So true, man. So true. Most people die tomorrow night. So true. Stop chasing people, man. Do your own thing. Hunt alone. And then you pick people on your team. Now we're going to move to the next phase. After you know what you want on the team, you don't pick, you don't, you don't run after people. The next phase is when you meet these people. Now you, you look for the traits that you want. Right. But first you got to figure out what's special about each person that I'm starting to meet. I right. met this guy. Let me analyze this guy. Let me see. Okay. Okay. You know, not everything's going to be perfect about him. All right. Cool. Right. All right. The brother can talk though. I noticed that. Right. I say, yo, this dude right here, right, brother you. Young's. It may not be the biggest vocabulary words. Right. And that doesn't constitute great speech or great diction right. or, or, or knowing how to pull at people's heartstrings because you use big vocab words. You can right. be a very lethargic person and boring and you have the greatest vocabulary in the world. That's nothing to do with anything. Exactly. It's the ability to put words together to accomplish a goal. That's a man that's right. dangerous with the English language or any language. Right. He can put words together in order to accomplish what he's looking for. That's, right. that's this gentleman here. That's right. Thank you, bro. I seen this man. Come on, brother. Yeah, I'm talking for real I seen this guy I put this guy in meetings and rooms And I saw he was able to talk to these people right. I mean so many people So so many people So many people man I put him in rooms And he does it And it's like it works And it's very simplistic The way he does it And the reason why it works Is because it comes from his heart and soul The man right. speaks with okay. soul Just look at the glasses got on yeah. His soul I'm man The me. guy speaks with soul So that's here. why it works um, And I found out I said that's what's special about this guy So once I found out what was special about him I said yo You don't gotta worry about nothing else Right. Nothing else I need you to help me with a few things here and there But Jeff Young If you believe in this company And I will go And you believe in me right. And you believe in yourself, we're gonna go far. Right. He said, All right, brother, what you want me to do? This is what I need you to do. Your gift is your mouthpiece. Right. You know how to talk to people. That's right. We're gonna use that and we're gonna accentuate that gift. Right. You don't need to know how to put all these cameras together, learn bits and pieces, because we got our own show now. But I need you to use that mouthpiece when it's time to go to war. Right. He said, Coach, you know I do this, man. It ain't nothing. And that's when my name turned into coach. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to President Youngs. That's right, man. We here. No, we in that's when he became man. President Youngs. No, so that, that's coach. coach Youngs. That's President Youngs, man. Nah, no, man. For people that knows me and that knows now, <laughs> we give it up. That's right. You know, we always we, we kind of give a lot of credits to each other because that's what you're supposed you to do. You gotta speak life into your team. Yeah. So well, what he's doing is giving me that that honor and respect that I give him. You know, and you'll see us do that all the time. But we'll do that to everybody around us because, see, when you start out with some some people, like, and you come around them and it's dry, 
then there's no motivation there. Mm -hmm. How you expect to win a championship with a team that's dry? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's the win. It's to feel like you winners. Mm -hmm. Every time you take the chance to go out and do a job or do anything, mm -hmm. you know, if you love this passion, just like he love it, mm -hmm. I love it, then the next man love it, we come together, we're supposed to have that energy, that energy that mm -hmm. we bring on the board is what's going to make us win. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you pick out your team and then you're like, man, this dude don't like this dude over here. This dude can't get along with this dude over here. Then it's never going to work. You got to make it work, you know. Some dudes, they just doing, they just being around you because they want to eat off of you. They like what you're doing so much, they just want to be there. So they're not really there to help you win. They're just there to bite off of you. Mm -hmm. And they see that, ah, this dude's going to go somewhere. So let me just come on and... That's called suckers and leeches. That's where that's a, that's a term you'll see that. That's what Jeff and I always use that term, right. suckers and leeches. But keep going. Right. So you have to really pick out the people that's really there for you to win. And if the people that you're working with is always talking negative, get them out. We don't. We're not dealing with those guys. Talking negative with the next team member. Like, yeah, you see this guy right here. I don't really rock with him, but I'm just doing this though. Or they just in it for the money. Those are bad guys. You have to pay Those attention to the people you pick around you. It's very true. Dudes could be rocking with you because you're making money. Wait it's to the day that you stop making money. They're going to show you. That's why I say you never know a true man's character when he's up. It's right. never going to show you. Right. A true man's character when he's up or a true man's character when he has money is only his character right. accentuated. Or, or another you see thing what I'm saying? I like to pick out. When the camera's on, watch you want to take all the shine the guy just want to be in the front like oh no but some, some, it's not that yeah those right. are those are those are those are um obnoxious and loud people sometimes you got guys in the background that are dangerous that don't want to oh, get yeah. on camera and be plotting against yeah. you yeah they plotting it some dudes don't come up front yeah they take notes right. and they, they plan how can right. i overthrow this guy or when right. he, when this guy money run out i'm gonna leave him there's a lot of snakes right. Right. and sometimes every snake has a different color oh, oh, oh you gotta watch out for this too right dudes don't give you credit it was suckers they, you put up and then we're gonna go all the way to instagram yeah. and all that dudes know they part of your team they don't hit light on your stuff yeah, those are those are suckers. And 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 you know what? And I like that you're saying all these right. things. But we have an episode coming called "New Friends." What is it? Old friends turn into new oh, haters, man. and we're gonna touch on all that. All but that. we want to give you, know, you that advice. We I love that he's talking all this stuff because he has passion about it, and you can see right. it coming it's from Youngs true. because it happened to him, it and it happened to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why he's that's why he's speaking to it. Other people. Oh yeah, a lot of if you watch it, it happened to you. as suckers in your life. That's what they are. Call them suckers. People that turn on you, do sneaky stuff. Stuff, it happens. Right. We're gonna talk about that. They around you. It happens. They're part of your team, but they're not really part of your team. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. They really taking notes and trying to be you. They trying to become you to beat you. Those are haters. They, they and we're gonna get into that in that episode. But Jay, tell, go back to that point. Tell them in your point. Give us a story or or, or tell them how right. you know how to pick the right team. Because there's a lot of suckers out there. We're gonna get to that episode. I, Youngs I, is serious I, about and, that. And you know what's, what's crazy? How do you I pick the right a, team? I have a story and. For me, you know, coach always tell me I have a soft heart, right? And it's true. I do. I have a soft heart for friends. So he said, that's why I tell you, Jeff, don't do business with your friends. And we had an episode on that. Go watch that, episode you one. Know? So I start learning. I got to start being more cautious of doing business with my friends. Mm -hmm. And I also got to realize when it comes to business, people's not going to be as serious as you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they, this might not be it for them. Mm -hmm. You have to know this is it for you. Mm -hmm. When something is it for you, mm -hmm. your heart is into it. Mm -hmm. So you don't let nobody come in between that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I take things a little bit different. So I look at my friends. I tell them straight up. If you're going to say yes to something, stand on, on it. Because if you're not going to stand on it, then don't say yes to it because mm -hmm. I'm going to judge you based on that yes. So now I start kicking dudes out the way. Talk. You on my, you in my way, dude. I got to, I'm going to run. run. I got to go. I'm going to run, G. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to run, go. G. So when you see me and coach working, don't come and say you want to be part of this team. Mm -hmm. Or you want to work with us mm -hmm. and you're not serious because we close a $100,000 debt. Talk. We're not here playing no game Talk. with you guys. Come on. These dudes so don't understand. Talk. It's a big difference. It's a different level of work. 
So, a lot of times people want to get part of your company or want to be a part of something because they your friend or they your, they your people, you mm-hmm. know? So, you think you got to be like, oh, no, nah, I don't want to do business with you. It's all my friends. Mm-hmm. So, be careful, you know, watch your haters because sometimes your biggest hater could come from No, nah, no, nah, but don't right? go in there because yeah, we got gas for that episode. I, know. I know, and I know it's there. I know, I know. I know it's there. Lots of suckers. We going to get there. Yeah, but tell them how they, the they I like that like, story, though. Jay and, and it's crazy that you told I that. Give him that you know like be careful we gonna Watch get the there business, you see man. you see that's one of our favorite episodes it's coming up soon hold right. on be old careful. friends turn into new it's haters we, it's coming it's coming we're gonna get there in that episode we're right now we're trying to teach you how to choose the right people the right he talked people. about that right. my story there was a guy I went to um Pittsburgh right there was a guy I saw came over tattoos all over his body right. and my perception of a businessman is not that i saw this guy tattoos all over his body right. i'm like yo who this dude man he came over to me I said, what up man i'm like oh this dude i watch right. this guy man this guy may be trying to line me up man right. those of you that don't know me lines me up and me set you up harm you in some way or another right. so i had to watch this guy all of a sudden after some time i was watching this guy I said you know what he started to come to me and compliment and say all the time, oh, great job, man. Hey, y'all, y'all see you got a new film. Constantly message me, message right. me, message me, message me. I'm like, why this guy keeps sending me messages and stuff like that? Right. So I'm like, okay, whatever. This guy keeps sending me messages. I'm still watching him. And I'm like, yo, is this dude up to something? I don't know what's up to this dude. I got to keep my eyes on this dude. He constantly kept coming back, coming back, year after year, coming back. And I said, I eventually said, hey, man, What's up with you? Right. What, what 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 is it about me that you like? Like you keep coming back. What's up with you? I never forget. Right. A family member told me, watch them Jersey dudes, man. They can't. They dangerous. Right. He right. from Jersey. Eventually, yeah. it was Jeff that I'm talking about. Nah, and no. I didn't know right. this guy kept coming back. And eventually, Jeff became my business partner. I asked him, Thanks, "What's up with you?" He told me, "Listen, I'm just hungry, and I like the way you structure right. and do things. You're doing big movies. I've never seen anyone do this, especially a black man. Right. You're doing big movies, yo." And I see you growing, you with clients, you building relationships. Right. I never seen you talk to certain people in certain rooms. Sometimes you be the only black person on the phone or at a meeting and you right. hold it down. How do you do that, brother? So I'm going to teach you. Right. First, we got to change certain things about are you willing to sacrifice certain things right. in order to come to the other side in order to see major success? I already made that sacrifice. I was willing to go all the way. This right. gentleman said yes. Jeff later on became my business partner along with other people. He joined. He's an investor. He's a producer now. Right. Jeff Young, ladies and gentlemen. My whole point is I never in a million years thought a kid from right. Jersey City, a man rather, from Jersey City with tattoos all over him would become my business partner. And that's what I mean by stop searching for people. They will come. Hunt alone. This guy came in the middle of a hunt. Right. I was eating. Asked, can I join? I said, do you have the criteria? He said, yes. He showed me. He joined. Right. Stop searching. They're going to come. Thank and I'm going to close out like that. I'm going to close out like that. And I, I can add to that story. And it was crazy because mm-hmm. at that time, I realized that I wanted to get in film. So I was I, I was searching. I was interning for different people. Um, and I also was in school. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because um, I was supposed to go to film academy. Oh my yeah, family couldn't afford sure. that and help me, so I was working. I was like, man, they want seventy five hundred for a semester. I said, that's a lot right now. I'm not gonna go that far with that, you know. So I slowed down on it. It was actually seventy five thousand, not seventy five hundred, seventy five thousand. So I was like, nah, you know. So I, I ain't go that route. So I did hands on. I started a company at the time. I already had a, a small business. I had a DFW, store, right? DFW Production friend and I um, had a, a business going and we was just growing on it but I wanted more I know this is what I want to do I wanted more so I went to school I was learning from the school basis the hands-on work it was teaching me more about the camera work but not the business side mm. you know but they was teaching me just the basic of the business mm-hmm, mm-hmm. see they don't never give you everything you have to go out and figure it out yourself always yeah so when i came to you and i saw you on set i was like this gentleman is young just like me but you the one thing that stuck out to me was you was up before everybody i mean you was up at 4 30 in the morning and i just heard a loud voice saying like i'm just like this dude is up every morning 
like that. That's one of my parents. I like to be up early, get ready for my day to start. And I said, yeah, I like that. And I just kept watching how structured this dude was. And I said, there's not many dudes like that. Dudes like him that gets in position, they usually be the one that just know they're in position and just try to push the world forward. You. you was taking on excitements that you didn't have to do. And I was like, man, this dude have a mind and he's hungry and he's passionate about what he's doing. That's what kept me there, you know. But yeah, man, we got plenty of good Thank stories. Thank you for that. That was wonderful. We'll some for the next episode. Definitely, definitely. Y'all you know, was my guy. He's Salute you too, man. Me, you know. Um, Salute. We always kicking it to our message friends, delivered, man. But just pay attention to the people that you choose to do business with and you choose to put on your team because mm-hmm. it could either hurt you or you could gain from it. Yep. But if you see it's hurting you. Pay attention to the stuff that we said, those little traits that mm-hmm. you might you might catch on this episode. You mm-hmm. know? So again, you know, message has been delivered. Message has been delivered. Close the envelope and oh, seal oh, it man. and deliver it, man. Let Close us know what you think oh, below. Man. Let us know the situations you've been in. Right. Let us know the people you built in your team. If you're trying to build a team, comment below. We want yes. to hear from you. Like this video if it like, gave you value and you really liked it. Yeah. And share it with a friend that may need help. All right, guys. I want to thank Jeff for being here. Every Sunday we're here, 12 p.m. Eastern, and we will see you next Sunday. The message has been delivered. Jeff, thank you so much for another episode. But we owe. We almost forgot a quote. Yeah, give him a nice quote for the day, man. man. If everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. Mm, Say that again. If everyone is moving forward together and doing what they're supposed to do, success takes care of itself. You don't understand that. Everyone is moving forward. Together, Together. success takes care of itself. You don't have to keep forcing dude. If everyone doing a job, Eddie, CEO, everyone, all of us, and not calling on dude, did you do it? Did you do it? Six, it's gonna, it's just gonna happen. And I like what you always said. Don't be afraid to wave the white right flag. Oh, we gotta do that. That's another episode. That's another episode. Let's get out of here. Put the swords down. Yeah, please.